Hi, welcome to the Golf Psychology Podcast. I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn, a mental performance coach at Peak Performance Sports. This week, I'm continuing my deep dive into pre-shot routines for golfers. And today, we're going to discuss what goes into the planning stage of the pre-shot routine. You're watching the Golf Psychology Podcast. Hey, before we get started, please hit that notification bell. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the podcast. What goes into the planning stage of your shot? This is a super important step for golfers because sometimes golfers will just grab a club and step up over the ball and go ahead and execute their shot. But you really want to step back and spend your time in your planning stage of the routine. I call it planning and programming. But for the purpose of this video, we'll talk about the planning stage. All right. First of all, you got to do your homework. You got to get your yardage, your wind direction. You got to start thinking about your club selection. And that's part of the planning stage of your pre shot routine is what club am I going to use for this particular shot? And then also, what's the wind doing? And how is the lie going to affect the ball? So you have to take in multiple factors that actually will go into the planning shot. Now, when I talk to golfers about planning their shot, I asked, do you have one specific ball flight that you like to hit? Typically, do you hit a little draw? Do you hit it straight? Do you hit it a little bit left to right? Because that's important in terms of your planning stage. I don't like you to fight your normal ball flight if you have a normal ball flight. If you hit it straight, great. Not too many people can hit it dead straight, but some people can. But if you like to draw the ball, my recommendation is stick with the draw. Even if the pin is right side of the green and you got a bunker you need to carry, my recommendation is still start at the flag and draw it into the center. I remember I went and saw a clinic with Jack Nicholas, and I loved his approach to planning the shot. He would say, I'm going to set up 15 yards left and hit a fade. If I fade it perfectly, I'm going to be right on the flag, given I have good distance. And then he said, if I overcook it, I'm going to be 15 feet left. However, if I yank it or pull it a little bit, I'm going to be 15 feet left. And if I fade it, overfade it, I'm going to be 15 feet feet right. So that was his approach to the planning stage of the shot. And and I love that approach because he knows he's going to be within 15 feet of the flag uh, with a relatively good shot and certainly a shorter flag. I think he was at the time he was maybe had an eight iron in his hand when he was doing this particular drill and showing us his mental approach to planning the shot. I don't want you to fight if the golf course is telling you I need to fade it in there or I need to draw it in there or the wind is telling you I need to fight the wind. I need to draw it into the left to right wind or I need to fade it into a right to left wind. I don't think those are good options for golfers just because how much are you going to draw it and how much are you going to fade it to hold it into the wind. I find that's an extremely difficult shot, even for the top tour pros. My recommendation is if you have a strong wind left to right, you let it ride the wind. In either case, whether you fade or draw the ball, let it ride the wind. Go with your consistent ball flight in most cases. Even if you have a dog leg left to right and you draw your driver, That's still, for me, maybe it's a three wood you take out to the center of the dog leg. So I'm all about creating consistency in your golf game. By trying to fight the wind or by trying to be swayed by what the course designer is telling you to hit, right, then you're actually fighting your, what I would call your normal ball flight or your typical shot. And that's going to get you really into trouble sometimes. More than not. So play the standard shot when you can, which means a little fade or a little bit draw. But at the same time, I understand sometimes you're into the wind, you want to knock it down. 
certainly I get that as well. So I hope this was helpful on the planning stage of the routine. If you want more information, jump over to peaksports.com and check out our golf psychology programs there. All right. Thanks for watching.